We have a massive spider up on the roof. Up on the roof. Hey guys, I know it's a bit dark because we're on a paranormal investigation with the pigs team and some of the spiral team. And we're at, I don't think you can pretty even see it from here, but there's a shot of it in the daytime, the fabulous Mitchell and Priory. So I'm here with Al, uh, Mandy and Kerry are here. They're also working for the pigs team tonight. Uh, we've got some of her, their friends here as well, so it's going to be good fun. This is probably my favourite location, Mitchell and Priory, next to Avebury. Um, historic site, 12th century, originally um, founded by Augustine um, Abbots, sorry, Augustine Cannons. And that's uh, going to be good fun. So it's, uh, come with us. It's very warm. Is it? Oh, yes, yeah, awfully warm. Awfully warm. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was only <laughs> been in my bag, but I think I left it on. Oh, the coffee? Seems to work still, though. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Mitchell Priory. Okay, we're about to go and do the first vigil. Um, we have been here many times before. Um, it's going to be fun. Let's see what's happening. There we go, Mitchell and Priory. There we go. Ah, lovely. Undercroft. Fantastic, we're going this way. And here we are. This is the Friary room. Fry room. We're here with Mandy's friends and Kerry's friends. It's going to be uh, fun seeing uh, people who've never done this before and uh, how they react to it. So, great. Now, up there, the stairway is a flat at the top. But there used to be a priest hole. And you can actually climb through it and climb all the way back down to where the um, fire is in the dining hall. Uh, you can't do it anymore because it's, I think, health and safety and all that stuff. But we did climb through that, me and my friend Gaz, back in about 2008, and uh, that was good fun. I'm just in the secret passage with Dad, actually. Um, absolutely fascinating place. Very spooky. I'm going to go down and join him now. He's down there. See, now they're shooting themselves. They just see my torch shine. I know, we could really play, play silly buggers with them, actually. Like a in here with us, could you make yourself known to us, making a noise? Could you touch one of us? Throw something? See, most people just go down the pub on a Saturday night. You know, yeah. what do we do? <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit dark, I know. Um, just um, had a bit of a, a whoosh, as I call it, a whoosh feeling that I sometimes get. I'm not psychic, guys. Yes, I know everyone says, oh, everyone's psychic. Well, maybe they are, but I'm not. <laughs> but I do get feelings, and uh, that's through the dowsing and all that kind of thing. Oh. Oh, that's, that goes through to the... Um... Yeah, but there's a bus there. There's a room. Yeah, we did the vigil, uh, vigil here ten years ago. With Mandy and uh, Alan. Cupboards just opened. Well, no, it was just oh. open. It I didn't see it open. Right? No, it wasn't. Oh. No, because Mandy's just walked past him. 
Oh, I've got it. I know why. A uh, ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Those pesky ghosts. That's very interesting. They're quite secure, these old yeah. uh, old uh, things. Whereabouts are we talking about? Just, uh, just here. Uh, you just felt like someone was looking at it. Yeah. It's just like, take photos and then I've stood there and it's just like someone can tell me something. Someone can tell me something. It's such a shame that it's just getting up there. Yeah. Up there. yeah. You know when they look around the banisters, like, yeah. it's, it, I just had that impression in my mind. Mm. And then Mandy come downstairs, I said, is there anything on the stairs? She went, yeah, little girl. Oh, right. So, she's good though, actually. Yeah. Come on, you can do it. If it is spirit, please open this door, that'd be great. I've got a few skeptics here tonight. What is it? That dress over there. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to join in here. I'm just following you in, Mandy, because okay. in case you get something really groovy. We're in the upper levels in the gallery of Mitchell and Priory. Interesting things happening so far. Um, they all have probably you know, a rational explanation, but we've done experiments trying to make sure we can recreate like the door opening on the cabinet and things like that. So, yeah. No, you shut now it. Now he's having to do it, yeah, he's to do it now. Camera's on. You shut it. Oh, there we go. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Can you do it when we walk away? Yeah. Can you, actually, what would be really cool, can you actually, can the door shut now? Can you shut the door? I will. Yeah, that, 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 that will make it a bit more... Uh... Yeah, I'm not too convinced. No, I think it's a faulty catch. Look. guys have moved back into the big barn for the next vigil and um, they're doing some glass work. It's lovely, it's a really mild night, it's a lovely, lovely evening. Especially we've got a full moon, I thought I mentioned that earlier, we've got a full moon. And uh, we're going to go to the next video. We're going to go downstairs into the uh, dining hall uh, on the bottom level of Michelin Priory um, and see what goes on. The night progresses. We don't know where the connect is. It might be in the uh, dining room. Morning, mind your head. We're in the dining room on the ground floor of Michelin Priory. See what goes on. Sorry, I'm looking spooky. It's just purely just a little bit of field light here. Yeah. Great. So uh, yeah, we're oh, going. In, it's the, yeah, you've got the Tudor kitchen. Oh, we filmed Tales of Albion in here, didn't we? Yeah, a couple of years ago, all my friends filmed Tales of Albion. There's a couple of scenes in here. I heard. I think it's because you're near it. Really far away. It went off when I was walking past it. Yeah, there's a light beam. If you yeah. break the light beam. Oh right, okay. It's like a motion sensitive thing. But anyway, I was standing over here and you could hear like this beautiful singing, yeah. but it sounded like it was from really, really where? far, far away. Couldn't they, put they, a finger yeah, but on there, where. People so, there was there. no one here. It was just us and Tim and Karen and what, somebody no else were upstairs. Living? There was nobody else in the building. There's, there's I know there's there. um, offices and there's a flat, but there was nobody in them. Mm. And then at first Kerry couldn't hear it, so I said, right, stand really, really still. And then you did hear it, didn't you? And it was eerie, wasn't it? It was lovely, yeah. but it was kind of spooky, and it sounded like it was coming from very far, far yeah, away. Yeah, really mm. where wow. it was coming from. And it was like a lullaby, wasn't it? Stop. It's like the dream. You stand in front of me. Go, connect. <coughs> mm. Mm. Oh, there are cannibals in them days. <laughs> we have a massive spider up on the roof. Up on the roof. I'll leave, leave, I'll leave the light on there in a second. See if we can get hold of it. Yeah, look at that. That's a big one. Did my very first vigil in this room for Mitchell and Barbary back in 2007. And I've loved it ever since. Amazing. Underground. Yeah. 
very interesting as we were walking out, the little flashy ball kicked off oh, on the, was on the uh, sofa. No one was anywhere near it. In Alphabo saw it, yeah. That's an amazing place, absolutely amazing place. I mean, we've been doing paranormal investigations for a long time. But there's places you come to that still resonate with you, and Midgeland Priory is that kind of place. But it's not just about its paranormal claims, it's just the history, the location, its uniqueness. It's some wonderful places. Here we get the chance to come down. It's um, managed by Sussex Archaeological Society, Sussex Past. I know that sounds terrible, but do you? Oh, yeah. Do you know what I think about? You could literally ruin your life with one decision. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> In the last video of the night, we're in the forge. Just doing a session with the Frank's box. What's your name? Picks up radio waves and try and ask it questions um, and try and formulate answers from these uh, static. Just fluttered into my hair. Is there, is there an animal? Uh, a fly, something? No, it was bigger Sorry. than a fly. Can't see is there a moth in my hair? No. I don't feel like there's anything. No, it's not. Look at the size of it. So the water's like there. Yeah. And I started falling asleep in the bath, and something went like that. And I went, whoa, what, 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 what? And I thought it was cat coming. And I've gone, uh, uh, and I'd actually fallen asleep. Oh, right. I was falling asleep and something slapped my leg. Yeah. That's, that's incredible. That's crazy, isn't it? That's really incredible. And I, cause I literally thought cat had come in to go, wake up, like that. But she hadn't, she was still at work. There's nobody here. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think if we started magic tricks, we could just practice? <laughs> so, uh, this comes to the end of our vigil here at Mitchell and Priory. We've had a really good time. Um, wow. And uh, obviously, if you like what we do, check out our Spiral Paranormal episodes on our YouTube channel and on Amazon Prime Video. Um, and uh, we'll be doing more. Well. So, I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Thank you, uh, Mandy and Kerry from the Spiral Team, who've been looking after us uh, while they've been working for the pig. They've done a really good job. Ooh. And uh, we'll see you next time yeah. from Spooky Mitchell and Priory. Take care. Oh.